Welcome to our Qubit How-To video series. Qubit is the natural estimator solution for a wide range of construction professionals from quantity surveyors and estimators to commercial and residential builders as well as subcontractors. In this video, I will be taking off some vertical areas and applying different materials to those areas. I will also insert openings to show how Qubit automatically deducts quantity information. No matter what materials you are taking off, the principles are the same, only the materials are different. Let's get started. I'll start with a simple wall framing area. In this job, I have inserted and scaled a very simple single story plan. For this demonstration, I have two items in my item sheet described as exterior wall area, but I've used a different result type for each item. The first has a result type of vertical area, and the second has a result type of vertical area less openings. This is to show the difference in our calculations when we take off doors and windows. In your job, choose the result that will best reflect the measurement you are looking to achieve. Remember, you can always change the result type after you've taken off the item if a mistake was made. By holding down Control on my keyboard, I will select both line items at once. For this demonstration, I will select the Polyline Shape tool. In the New Task pane, I will make sure that Close Polyline is unchecked as I am not entering a completed area. I will then enter a description of the exterior wall and set the height of this shape to be 10 feet. Note that the height needs to be entered in inches, so I will type in 120. I will then select a starting point on my plan and trace the lines of the four exterior walls that I want to take off. Once complete, I will right click to end the shape and select the select command to exit the shape command. The quantities of the drawn shapes have been immediately calculated and returned to my item sheet. Even though the result types are different, see that they have returned the same quantity value. This is because I have not yet added any openings. I will now add the windows required for the bedroom. Watch the quantity of the second wall area item change when the windows are added. Qubit will automatically deduct the opening area from this quantity because I am using the vertical area less openings result type. By adding these windows, not only have the windows been added to my item list, the quantity of the second wall area item has changed to reflect the vertical area less openings. I will now add the windows to the living room which will be added to the windows trade and the opening area removed from the second wall area item. If you need to see the value of your deductions, select on the vertical area less opening result item and look in the calculation sheet below. In the subtotal column, you can see the total area that was taken off, the deductions for the openings, and the resulting quantity of the overall shape. Even though this example applied to a generic item called exterior wall area, this process is the same no matter the materials we want to calculate. Since I've already drawn the shapes for the four walls and added the openings, I can now drag this shape onto other items in my item sheet to calculate the quantities for those items. Simply click and drag the shape from the viewport onto the item in the item sheet you would like to quantify. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to check out our other how to videos, which you can find online. Remember, we're here to help. You can contact our support team or visit our knowledge base online for more information to help you use Qubit.